felt like a kid in a candy store, but like an adult in a weed store. I enjoy weed. You know, ganja, trees, loud, chronic, or as my parents say, are you kids smoking those marijuana cigarettes? It's not for everybody, but it's always treated me right. And only if blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Alcohol either gives me some crazy headache or stomach ache, and anything stronger than that honestly scares the crap out of me. I don't know, I'm not exactly interested in completely losing my mind. I just wanna relax, have a long conversation, and maybe watch a movie. And the only thing I'm ever in danger of with weed is finishing a whole sleeve of Oreos all on my own. But is that bad or like impressive? I started smoking in college, but I was at Columbia in New York City where getting weed meant finding weed dealers. And call me crazy, but I never got used to that awkward, shady drug dealer experience. So when I moved to LA, I didn't really care enough to find one. It just wasn't on my list of priorities. I'm a grown up now. But one day, I'm sitting on Kiki's couch, about to watch Pineapple Express, an absolute pothead movie classic, when she goes, oh no, I'm out of ganja. Do you have? No, dude, I just moved here. Well, looks like we both have to go to the store. The store? The weed store. Wait, have you not been to a weed store yet? Strap in, sister, and prepare your soul. I'm taking you to the Holy Land. I had read that recreational weed was legalized in LA, but the concept of a weed store still completely blows my mind. You go to the store for like potatoes or toothpaste, not weed. I assumed that in order to go to one of these things, you needed some crazy expensive prescription, but I was wrong. You just walk right on in. And let me tell you, it is nice in there, like a fancy coffee shop or salon. I could not believe. You just have to prove that you're 21, and then, then, they open those pearly gates. Weed gummies, weed lollipops, weed chocolate? I felt like a kid in a candy store, but, but like an adult in a weed store. How is this real? Then this guy, AKA my guardian freaking angel, pops up behind the counter. Hey, I'm Travis. What are your weed needs? Oh, I just, I just wanted to buy some like regular weed? Cool, I can help you find the exact strain to suit your symptoms. My symptoms? Yeah, are you feeling anxious? Tired? Do you need to like get work? done? Do you have aches and pains? And if so, are they like chronic or cute? Oh my god, you're like a doctor. Travis, ex uh, Travis explained all these different strains. The names were amazing. Purple Monkey, Poochie Love, Zombie Killer, Mimosa. When I told Travis I struggle with anxiety, he was like, oh, you should try Skywalker OG. Very calming, but don't smoke too much or you'll get lost in space. <laughs> <laughs> this place was starting to feel less like a drug deal and more like a wellness clinic. I was used to shady dudes named Snake and crumbly weed wrapped in tinfoil. And here I was at a goddamn weed spa. I looked over at Kiki, who was literally wearing a CBD infused spa mask. It minimizes your pores and opens your chakras. We went back to Kiki's with our epic bag of treats and sparked one of my joints. Wow, this is strong. Cali weed is similar to East Coast weed, but only in the way that a Chanel purse and a Forever 21 clutch both happen to be bags. We smoked that whole joint. I guess we were just feeling the moment or something. <coughs> Then Kiki started up Pineapple Express, and that's exactly when I felt the Skywalker OG kick in. Suddenly, I felt like I was Luke Skywalker himself. Oh my God, did I feel the force? I felt like I was floating? Was I floating? Wait, for real, was I floating? No, you're fine. 
How can you hear my thoughts? You're talking out loud. I started to float up higher and higher. Wait, was I drifting into the sky? Into the stratosphere? Oh my God, it's just like Travis said. Smoke too much and you'll get lost in space. I was too high. I was losing my mind. I was getting lost in space. Wait, I don't know anything about astronaut stuff. Quick, try to remember how Sandra Bullock survived at gravity. Angie, it's okay, come back. Thank God Kiki was with me. She pulled me out of the sky and right back to reality. Or something like that. By the end of the movie, I had calmed down and I was very ready to go to sleep. But Kiki still wanted to try the weed gummies. You know what, Kiki? Today's been great, but I think I've learned my lesson. Everything in moderation. And it's true. I like to get a little lifted, but I don't need to go all the way to space. I kind of like it right here on Earth, where I can breathe and like human life as possible. Oh, that's fine. Do you still want this whole sleeve of Oreos though? Oh, for sure. <laughs>